We started off by comparing notes. We say, well, what did you hate about every other Swan Lake you've ever seen? And it's quite a list, in fact, we came up with. But there were very, you know, and you can have a lot of fun doing that until you actually have to do Swan Lake yourself. <laughs> but it's a very good way to get started because we wanted it to be rooted in some sort of reality. And I'm a great believer that you have to take it very seriously. This is Act Two, Backcloth. The original is 1 25th of this, and you grid it into four centimeter squares which is the equivalent of meter squares, and then you draw it out on the floor, a meter at a time. And then you paint, the painters paint it in on the floor, and then I come in when they've done most of the work, actually, and I then paint it with the light coming through it and make it the image I did in the first place. This is a bit that I thought would be great when it was in the workshops. And of course, on stage, it just looks like a, a meaningless white splash that doesn't mean anything. And it's in the wrong place, but upstage of the rocks. So I just have to break into it with these, that's all. It's taking your eye into the wrong place. That's my other job as a painter. And over the years, it's of course informed my work in that the one thing I'm, I suppose I'm known for are the painted backdrops, front cloths surfaces, which I combine with, sort of, with architecture. Right, we're done, actually. Just have a look. It's totally and absolutely essential. I mean, it goes through all my stage design and, and the two feed each other. Out of the whole design process, for me, the ballroom took way the longest. It took three months of trashing models and drawing and destroying another model because no matter what you put in this box, you play that opening and nothing comes up to what Tchaikovsky is doing in terms of grandeur. And then when it does, you know you've got it. But it's a long, long process. It was about a six-month model build and then costume drawings. Simply just drawing and drawing till things start to emerge. All right, here we go. Yeah, go on. <laughs> no, whatever you do, don't fall over, Bob. Crack my ribs. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> I use very traditional methods to get the effects that I want on stage. But with Swan Lake, I hope it doesn't look stodgy and traditional. In the, in the worst sense of that word. I, I, don't, I hope it doesn't and I don't think it does. But you travel your audience through worlds that they would understand, that lead them through the story. It's just how you make each of these worlds as visually beautiful or exciting as you possibly can.